Magnificent cathedrals, imperial palaces, a beautiful river, and a giant Ferris wheel. There's quite a lot to see in Vienna. There's also a lot to do and to explore, and many things you might not even know yet. Shani Garten Sommer, Abendrot. Die Stadt hat mich wieder. Urban Groove. In this YouTube series, we'll be casting a limelight on Austria's capital. Each time we'll focus on a different aspect of life in Vienna. You'll meet interesting characters, and I will, or at least I will try to, explain some of the quirks and traditions that make Vienna such a charming and interesting place. My name is Chris Cummins, and I will be your host for this series, Vienna Now. We're at one of my favorite spots in all of Vienna right now. This is the Ippenplatz. It's right next door to a bustling market called the Brunnenmarkt, where you can meet people and buy goods from all over the world. And then here in this square, you get all the things I like combined. You get a sense of street life, you get cultural diversity, and this idea of Gemütlichkeit. It's an Austrian philosophy, really, where life is there to be lived and enjoyed, not to be stressed about. You can sit down, meet friends, have a chat, and enjoy one of Austria's great obsessions, having a coffee. I'm a radio host. I arrived in Vienna 13 years ago, intending to stay for a few months, but the town bewitched me and I stayed, and maybe it will cast its spell on you too. Let's go on a trip now around Vienna and see some of the city's highlights. In Vienna, you can do a lot on foot, at least in the inner districts. Many sites and interesting places are within walking distance from each other. But don't worry if you're not feeling so energetic. Vienna also has a fantastic public transport system and you can always rent a bike. The inner city, Vienna's first district, is kind of an outdoor museum. Everywhere you look, you'll find beautiful architecture, old narrow streets, and charming corners that reek of tradition. The first district is surrounded by the circular Ringstrasse, where Austria's most important buildings are lined up right next to each other. Right in the middle of the inner city, you'll find one of Vienna's most famous and most impressive sites, St. Stephen's Cathedral. From here, you can go shopping, stroll through beautiful parks, or pay the world-famous Vienna State Opera a visit, just to end up in a typical Viennese coffee house, sitting and chatting for hours. At the museum's quartier in the 7th district, you can visit a museum or two if you want to, or just hang out in front of them and mix with the young and the beautiful in one of Vienna's hippest and most vibrant areas. Remember that concept of Gemütlichkeit I was telling you about earlier? Well, this is what it's all about. Cheers. Of course, there's so much more to see and each episode of Vienna Now will be dedicated to a different aspect of life here in Vienna, we'll visit some of the design and art hotspots. We'll go to the iconic venues where classical music is played. We'll go to a romantic Christmas market in December. We'll taste some of the Austrian cuisine in the many restaurants in town. And of course, we'll dip into the nightlife in the city as well. This is Vienna Now. My name is Chris Cummins. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. And I'll see you next time.